Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Kate McCannon by Coulter Wall. It's a lovely little acoustic guitar song. Um, I've done a full playthrough, so if you want to hear what it sounds like all the way through, check out the card above. I don't know which side it is. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as well. So I'm going to teach you that today. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, and please leave me some comments. Let me know where in the world you're from. Uh, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing this channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, um, I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the first line sounds like this. So to play that, we're gonna have an A minor chord. We're gonna use this a lot in this song. So the A minor chord is your first finger on B1, second finger on G, uh, D2, and third finger on G2. So you hold those down, and you're gonna play the A string, then the D, and then the G. So it goes. And then we're gonna play the E string nearest to your face. And then you're gonna play the D string again, then we'll do an upstroke on the E, B, and the G strings. Doesn't matter if you hit the D string as well, that's fine. So, so far you've got. Then you're gonna play the A string again. Then take your fingers off with a downstroke, hit from the D string downwards, and then hammer your fingers on to the A minor chord. So you get the exact same shape you had for the A minor chord, you just slap them down with a hammer on. And then you'll go up, down, up to finish the bar off. So the first bar slowly goes. And again. Up speed. And then into bar two, you'll notice there's only two beats in this. Um, so there's four beats in all the other bars, but in bar two, there's a little two four if you look in the notation. That tells us there's only two beats in this bar. So we're going to a G chord, or part of a G chord. We're going to slide into it with our second finger from E2 to E3, just really quickly. And then put your third finger on E3 nearest to the floor. So you do the slide. And then you're going to play the D, G, and the B strings with a down up. First finger A2. Then you can do a down up. And you can actually take your fingers off because we only really need to hear the uh, D, G, and the B strings. So it goes. So it goes. And then we're going to do another hammer on like we did before. So you hit the open strings, hammer on to A minor down up on the A minor chord, so then hit the top E string, then another down up on the A minor, E string again, and then down up on the A minor, then the E string, E3, so bar three goes. And then bar four is just an A minor chord. You play the A string, the chord twice, the E string, the chord twice, then the A string, and then the chord, E string, and the chord. So bar four goes. So let's put the whole line together slowly. Here we go. Okay, so that's the intro. It just plays through once, then we go on to the next line, which is the verse. And it's very similar to um, what we've kind of done. So it starts with an A minor chord. You play the A string, down up on the rest of the chord. You do that um, four times in the first bar, so bar five. Then it 
Then bar six is the same as we had bar two in the other uh, on the first line. Little slide into the G, A2, then the down up. So bars five and six together go. And then it goes back to the A minor chord. So you're playing the A string, down up, E string, down up, A string, down up, then E, E3, and then the bar eight is just A string with the A minor chord, E string, A minor, A string, A minor, then E, and A minor. Hopefully that makes sense, so bar eight. So the whole line of that verse goes. Now the next line is almost identical. Uh, there's a couple of little changes. So bars one and two are the same of that line, so bars 9 and 10 are the same with the first two bars of the previous line. Bar 11, we've got a slight little change in here, we've got the A minor chord and we're playing the A string, a little down up, the E string, down up, the A string, down up, and then it goes a little E, hammer on to E3, open G, and a B1, and then it goes back to the A minor chord in bar 12. With the A string and down up, E string, down up, A, down up, and then plays an A2, which is going to go into the chorus. Uh, so let's play the whole of that line. Here we go. takes us to the chorus. Now the chorus, we've got a new chord, we've got a C chord, which is your first finger on B1, second finger D2, third finger A3. And you can play the A3, and then down up on the D, G, and B and E strings. And it does that twice, so you go. And then it goes to a D minor chord, which is your first finger E1, third finger B3, second finger G2, and you can play the D string, then a down up, and then play the A string, and then down up on the bottom three strings. So bar 13, you've got. Then this next bar, go into the G chord, play the E string, down up, A2, down up on the D, G and the B strings. Similar to what we do in the second bar of the other lines, but without the slide in. Then bar 15, back to a C chord. And you play the A string, which is A3, because your third finger's there. Then down up on the chord. Then move that third finger up a string to the E string. Leave the other fingers where they are. And play the E3, down up on the chord. Then move it back down, your third finger, to the A3. Play the th um, A3, and then down up on the chord. Then E3, and then you're just going to hit the D and the G strings um, open. So bar 15 goes. Then in bar 16, you're going to play the D and the G strings again. Then hammer on to fret two of the D uh, string. And then you're gonna be holding down like that C chord again with your first finger B1, second finger G, sorry, D2. Play it down up. Third finger goes to E3. Down up, back to the A string, down up. And then you take it off and play it open A string. Hammer onto A2 hit down up on the D, G and the B strings. So bar 16, you've got. So let's try the whole of that line, the first line of the chorus.
on to the next line of the chorus, uh, back to the A minor chord, playing the A string, go down up, do that um, four times. On the last hit, you can just take your fingers off the chord. So it's And then in bar 18, so play E3, open D, G and B strings, and then a little pull off from A2 to so the open A, then E3 to go, and then back to A minor chord, you play the A string, then down up, then E, E2. So bar 18 goes. Bar 19 is exactly the same. Bar 20 starts the same. E3, hit the chord. A2, pulling off to A string. E3, but then just hit an A minor chord once. Um, and then you'll see there there's repeat marks. So when we hit the end of bar 20, we actually go all the way back to the verse, um, which is bar five. But let's just play those four bars of that line. So we've got. So you repeat all the way back to the verse and play through the verse and then the chorus and then this line again, but the um, second time round, you play bar 17 and then you go straight to bar 21, which is just hitting a G chord. So E3 nearest to the floor, E3 nearest to your face, and your first finger A2. Hit the whole um, chord, just stab it, and then it goes E, E3 which is gonna go into the interlude. So let's go to the interlude. Now it sounds like this. So to play that, we've got the A minor chord. We play the A string once, uh, and then play the rest of the chord. A3, pulling off to A. E3, open A string. The A minor chord. E, and then E2. So bar 22, you've got. Then you're gonna play E3. Hit the D, G, and the B strings. A2, pulling off to A, E3, A chord, two A minor chords, then E, E3. So you've got from uh, bars 22 and 23 together, you've got. And then bar 24 is the same as 22. And then 25, you just got E3, open D, G, and B strings. A2, pulling off to A, and then E3. And then just a bar of that A minor chord, jumping between the A string and the E string. So hopefully that should make sense, because we've done it already. So let's try the whole of the interlude slowly. Here we go. Uh, and then it goes to another verse. Now this next verse is slightly different just because there's like sort of one bar missing from it. Uh, so you've got the A minor chord for just playing the A string. Uh, does that four times. That same slide into the G that we've done before. And then just the A string with the A minor chord. E string, A string, E string. So let's just try that line, here we go. And then that 
go straight to the next line. Um, so you'll notice that the previous verse kind of had an extra bar um, of A minor before it went on to the next line. So the next line, uh, again, exactly the same idea. Just the last hit, we've got an A2 on there. So you've got... And then it goes to the chorus, and you play it all the way through the chorus, um, and then it's just basically jumping between the verse and the chorus um, in the rest of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Also, give me a like on the video, the thumbs up. That helps the video perhaps get some more views. And the more comments, the better. If you got to this point, just say hi in the um, comments. Let me know where in the world you're from and what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me and you want to print the tabs off for this, um, I'll put it on my Patreon page. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.